I'm going to show you how to hook up a lightweight utility trailer and I'm going to start by putting the draw bar in because this is one of the most important integral pieces that connects the vehicle to the trailer. This is uh, one of the most deadly, dangerous or whatever kind of things and hooking up a trailer is making sure that this gets put in properly. This one came from Harbor Freight and it's just my lightweight utility one. It's all set up for two inch hauling and the hole is clear up here so that it can go out past like a spare tire carrier or something like that but then the chains don't reach so it's been re-drilled uh, to go in far enough to where the chains can reach properly I initially had adapted it like this and that's a big no-no because if something fails on the pin or the pin doesn't get secured properly then that leaves you no protection the chains come out with it so I drilled it further back up here so that the chains would reach properly. We're all learning here. So you want to make sure that the pin goes in and that the clip goes in. Usually what I like to do is I like to angle the back side of the pin up this way so that it gets in past this little shelf. I'll show you on the other side what that looks like. This is just kind of personal preference or keeping things clean is I just like to have it back in here and then it leaves room for the chains. If you come back a little further you can see it hits right there. If it's here then it's hard to get the chains in and it interferes so I always put mine in like that. And out of habit I always do it from this side so once you get a good set of habits it's easy to be safe each time so I'm going to stick with it and put it back where I normally would put it. So once that's in place, uh, the next thing you do is bring the trailer in place. This one, like I say, is just a lightweight utility trailer. Just put it in there. I like this style of coupler better than the flat sheet metal type that go here. I'll show you a picture. These are the kind I hate. <laughs> you always have to push underneath and bang it. With these ones, it's a forward-backward sliding thing instead of an up-down thing. If you're putting something down on something, that's gonna move and get no, I just hate them. These are easy and they're very secure. So you secure the coupler by whatever means you have. Put the pin through it. Clip it. So that's all secure. Uh, the next thing you wanna do is plug in the trailer wiring. Now this truck is equipped with seven wire round and this trailer is a kit equipped with four wire flat. So that's not going to work. So I just won't have trailer lights, right? Wrong! <laughs> Don't do that. For $10 you can get just about any kind of adapter that there is. The two most common uh, formats are 7 wire round and 4 wire flat. So if you have a lightweight trailer without trailer brakes, it's probably going to be 4 wire flat. If it's not, check the plug and see if it's corroded. If it is, replace it with a four wire flat. And that way people don't run into this problem all the time and have to make an extra trip to the store to get an adapter because they're too, they don't understand the importance of having lights for one, um, but for two, you know, if it's not these common types, replace it with one of these common types because usually they're worn out anyway and need to be replaced, so choose that. So I take my uh, four wire flat plug it to my seven wire round and you can get all the different kinds it's just nobody has them but if it's these style then they'll be good a lot of the modern trucks they'll have a seven wire and a four wire right here uh, by the license plate they'll have a flip down for one and a flip up for the other so I have my wires routed so that they don't get pinched or messed up and then the last thing I need to do on this setup is the chains because I don't have an emergency breakaway cable and I don't have a load distribution hitch and I don't have a sway hitch so I cross the chains and then hook them up like this so they cross underneath the coupler this is at an angle so it looks like it's off to the side of the coupler but going down the road that would be underneath so I have my chains I have my clip here if it's a bumper one that sits on the bumper then you're not going to have to worry about the pin but you are going to have to you are going to have to worry about uh, keeping your weight down. These aren't able to hold near as much weight as something like this. So I got lights, chains, uh, couplers connected and clipped. I have the right size ball 
for the right uh, size trailer coupler. Uh, when you look on the top here it says 2 inch, when you look on the ball it says 2 inch and then I mark it 2 inch on this draw bar and leave it connected that way. And then double check and make sure that your nut's tight. If your nut is not tight, now would be a good time to do it. So it all looks great. So we're going to go do some scrap. <laughs>